What is up, everybody? Um, back with another video, man. Today we're gonna be reacting to "Confessing My Embarrassing L's" featuring Yo Yo 808 and Stanley Animation by Devon Tittle One. You know what I'm saying? We watch Yo Yo. Now we're gonna watch um. What's the name? All right. Devon so if you watch my videos, then you probably watch the OG of all of this, Swoozy. The other day, Swoozy yep. uploaded a video confessing some of his most embarrassing L's. And at the end of the video, he challenged some other animators and influencers like Alex Clark and Jaden Animations to confess theirs too. Well, Adande, my brother, you are not going to leave me, Yo-Yo, and Stanley out of this because we have some embarrassing L's too. So for me, I'm going to tell you about three of them. Number one, a couple weeks ago, as I'm fresh off of dominating at Brawlhalla, I decided to put my pride away. What you know? What you know about that, bro? Holika Ultimate with my friend group. No, I'm saying if you're seeing this video, play me. Which consists of Sean, known him since high school, Deuce, met him in high school, and 2 million, met him in college with Sean. Now, keep in mind, I have not played any type of Smash game since Brawl. So, at the time, I was rusty at the game. The mechanics and controls of the game were foreign to me. But, being fresh off of Brawlhalla, and both of the mm -hmm. games looking like they have a similar play style and mechanics, I was confident that when playing Super Smash Bros, after 9 years, it would be a piece of cake. Because Brawlhalla, in my eyes, is like a, a great value super smash bros let's be honest here it always gives me that super smash bros feel when i play it but like not all the way there so i went straight into the game without practicing mm -hmm. like what's the worst that could happen i got him i got him i don't got him you come over here you die <laughs> suffer Get in Lotus. <laughs> give me that shit i gotta hold you respectfully crank it Bye bye. W animations. This is w animations. Our commentary during games, bro. Like, I need to record this one day. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. Bro, I was getting my ASS beat. They even warned me before they started that Smash Bros isn't like Brawlhalla, even though they look similar, which is something I should have known because I played Brawl nine years ago. I didn't win a single game that night. Not a half a game, not a quarter a game, not one. It took every fiber of my being not to go outside in the back and <laughs> smash my switch with a hammer because I've been good at video games all my life once I learned the controls. So mm -hmm. losing this badly destroyed my ego until three weeks later when I found my trump card the me swordsman ever since after polishing my skills just a little <laughs> bit more i went from being a scrub straight into being a threat unlike the other two Small i still threat. haven't beat two million yet in a 1v1 so technically this is still an l because i haven't beat the final boss yet but i'll update y'all on my instagram the day i do win against him speaking of l's moving on to the next l number two right before the pandemic hit back when i was in college me and two million were on campus in the main building arguing about who's better at basketball based off of our basketball past so we decided to do a 1v1 on the court to see who still got it now at that point i do not care about playing the sport anymore i do not care about winning at the sport anymore i do not care about sharpening my skills or making shots correctly i don't have the motivation focus nor energy so why did i accept the challenge if this was the case to be honest with you I just wanted some excitement. Like, I feel like Goku, bro. Like, I wanted to get a kick out of the situation. Like, what did I have to lose at that point? I made a video three weeks ago about my basketball. Let's go. <laughs> I'll keep it short. Yeah, yeah. Back in high school, I was a great player. I stopped playing. Bro, them the baby memes be, oh my God, bro. Top tier. Top tier, bro. The memes is hilarious, cuz. Basketball my senior year of high school, so when I got to college when I was 18 years old, I stopped caring about playing the sport completely. This L happened when I was 20 years old. I am 21 right now, so two mm -hmm. years prior to this L, I have not picked up the first basketball. On top of that, I stopped working out, in fact. By the time this L happened, I am out of shape, even though in high school we were built the same. I had no business accepting a challenge from somebody that is still in shape because he still works out when every time I shoot the ball three times, I run out of breath. In high school, I didn't have these problems. I could run up the court all day. So before I accepted this challenge, I should have ran up a treadmill. The only reason I accepted his challenge, even though I knew I was going to lose, is because I like winning in general. Plus, my ego didn't let me say no, which is the same mindset 
he had. I'm literally better than you. I'm just not in shape. What is wrong with you? You're not better than me. Yes, I am. What part of I'm not in shape anymore did you not understand? Go get in shape then. Bruh, don't get dropped off. We need to drop this conversation because all I hear are excuses. Okay, I hear you. I hear you, yo. I hear you, yo. yo. Stop confusing yourself. Stop it. Just stop it. Bet. 1v1 me then. Hey, fanboy. Chum Chum. It'd be great if y'all shut the hell up respectfully can y'all see i'm over here studying oh lame man okay, he's stanley so he's we get stanley. down to the court and i know i'm out of shape and i know i don't got any motivation to actually try to play because i know if i do try then my legs probably gonna be on life support so i'm like all right I bro can't drive bro in the yo-yo video he got his ankles broken please 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 don't get your ankles broken bro in like I used to when I had my gladiator body. So the best thing I can do right now is to just shoot the ball. So I get the ball, shoot it, and instantly my legs had a stroke. I missed a shot too. He rebounds the ball, gets back to the top, and I'm trying to fight through the pain by defending him. And man, this no. dude had me doing a Cupid shuffle out there for 20 minutes. I lost so bad that I had to get insurance on my ankles, bro. Like I thought I could really beat this man while one out of shape and two no motivation. But it was clear that I needed my gladiator body back and motivation. After that L, I started working out again to this day. I'm trying to get my gladiator body back. Moving on to the next L, <laughs> number three. So four years ago, I used to be friends with this girl that lived down the street from me, and she had an interest in making YouTube videos. Now, this was back before I did animated stories. I did like reactions, music videos, and skits, and I was around at 1,000 subscribers at the time. We used to chill a lot, and I used to like this girl because we had something in common. We had a vibe together for the most part, and this girl was bad. Like, she could have caught more than this meat. She could have caught these kids. One problem, though. She made it clear during some conversations that we had that she don't date friends because she doesn't want to ruin a friendship. And if I ever liked her, she would never talk to me again. So I kept my little crush a secret for the longest mm -hmm. time. Now, there is nothing wrong with dating your friend. Actually, those be the best relationships. Like anybody that thinks that I, I, I can't date my friend because I don't want it to ruin a relationship, you're a weirdo. That's just you limiting yourself. Like why waste the energy trying to get to know a complete stranger when you can waste less energy with the person you already know and you have some attraction to one day facts bro facts hey i finally get the balls to ask her out even though she made it clear she didn't date friends oh but my god i thought maybe she would just you know give me a pass because we were somewhat close or so i thought after we get done <laughs> chilling in my crib for a couple hours i escort her outside and soon as we get to the front yard i muster up the courage and ask her out she looks at me with the blankest face I've ever seen. Turns around and walks down back to her house. Didn't even say a word. Never looked back. And I didn't see her for four years. No BS. Dead serious. Oh she God. ghosted me in real life. See? This is what she should have did, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have two on the IQ, bro. You should have been like, it was just a joke. You know what I'm saying? It was just a prank. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what you should have did. But nah, you sold, girl. You sold. <laughs> like, dang, bro. If I'm ugly, just say it. Four years and 300k subs later, guess who came lurking back into my DMs? That's tough. Please, please don't tell me you said something <laughs> back to it. <laughs> Leave that message on delivery, bro. <laughs> Okay. All right, all right. Love y'all. See you next week. Bye. Oh, yeah, please tell me you didn't respond to that. Please. I really do the shit. I be sliding like roller skates. Yeah. 100, these nigga mobbing like anime. She want a super saiyan, so I tell her don't be afraid. Yeah. Grab a three five of the dudes, yeah. Paint the sky gold on them, yeah. Yeah, I'm messing with it. I ain't messing with it. I ain't messing with it. I ain't gonna lie. That's me in this video, bro. Like, comment this video, bro. We out, cuz.